Okay, so here we have a uh, hemlock tree. Um, close up of it is a hemlock tree. We're trying to show you the identifying features. So, unlike a, a balsam fir, if they will look very, very similar, and they have underneath markings of white striations. I don't see if you can, if the camera will pick it up, but there's two of them. The balsam fir will have this as well, but the needles will be almost twice the length. So if you're like using that as for a scale reference, and as they connect to the base of the tree, I'll try to get it so you can see. There's actually a very, very small stalk. Can't make it out. Sorry about that, but let's show you the trunk, which is another identifying feature. And so you can see that there's uh, crevices that are that go uh, laterally, and it's uh, rough bark. Um, unlike the balsam fir, it'll have balsam fir has very smooth. Uh, it looks like skin almost, but it has blisters. Uh, the hemlock does not have any blisters on them, and it's very. Uh, it uh, almost looks like a. Uh, what would you call it? A deciduous tree. Like it doesn't have the classical appearance until you look at the needles which are there year round. Uh, they also lo lose their needles every three years and start anew and they provide very good shelter uh, and then we'll show them an up view of the canopy that it provides for shelter from for the animals. Mm -hmm. And it can make very good lovely tea and highly recommend trying it. So, and we'll, we'll come quick just to the leaves one more time just to show <laughs> show a good up close because the camera doesn't seem to want to focus right because there's but I'll, I'll try to get it to because we've been on a search and we finally found one that's really good and then I'll show you quick the uh, the balsam fir for a comparison uh, there's a couple over here I got a kind of jog <laughs> And these ones are at a younger age, but right away, from as a comparison with the fingers, you can see that they're a lot longer. However, they do have the white markings on the underneath, uh, so that can be kind of confusing, and they look very similar. But if you look at the skin of the bark, it's more like, it looks like skin, and it's smooth and has like blisters. And, but otherwise than that, they look very, very similar. And see, Tristan, go by the go by the base of the hemlock. So then we can show you what. So this is what the hemlock body looks like. It's uh, it's tapered, meaning that it's very wide at the base, and gets thinner to a point as you go up the height of the tree. Hemlocks can live. The oldest recorded one was over a thousand years, and uh, due to clear cutting and things of that nature, there's very few of them of this age left in the forests. So. It's a blessing and amazing find, and uh, over and out.